Hey everyone, got another bait delivery today. I'm going to be talking about sound emission in, in the water, uh, specifically in these Livingston lure baits. I'm interested to, to start to use these. I uh, got introduced to them in a tournament series that I'm fishing. The UMBCS tournament series um, is sponsored by Livingston Lures and there was some bonus money available for those people who caught, uh, who won the tournament on, on a Livingston lure and of course big fish uh, with the uh, uh, a Livingston lure. So I wanted to see what these were all about and started doing some research into them and to see what was behind it. I know there's other technology out there, the HydroWave that's available, uh, TH Marine sells the HydroWave. Um, so there's been some, some things going on with sound emission and, and baits and, and, and the attractiveness of that to fish. I know that uh, Livingston lure commissioned a study with the University of Texas and uh, uh, some results of that study show that uh, these uh, EBS or electronic bait fish sound enhanced lures attract fish from double the distance compared to a traditional rattle type bait and uh, are showing at least from that study five times more effective at attracting fish uh, than a bait with no sound at all. So there's uh, you know some success that's been had. Uh, folks a lot of the professional fishermen have hydro waves on the front of their boat uh, that are emitting sounds and attracting fish in the neighborhood of the of where they're fishing you know so if it's emitting near their trolling motor they're getting some good results at uh, attracting fish and, and mimicking that bait fish sound uh, this is a whole nother level of it i think with livingston and getting that bait fish sound emission out away from the boat you know you can reel your bait down stop it and have that thing still be emitting some uh, sounds out at a distance out at the end of your cast so that that's kind of a cool thing and uh, there's been an evolution, I think, of, of these Livingston lure uh, baits and their products, as I can see from what's available out there. I got, as you can see here, I have three colors. I have the red, which is the Pro Series. I have the green, which is the Tournament Series, and blue uh, from the Team Series. And from what I can gather, the Pro Series, the red, um, though all those baits emit, emit the Baitfish EBS sound, um, and uh, the Pro Series is a number of pro-style baits that they wanted. So they, they put, a, put together um, different kinds of baits, crank baits, jerk baits, you know, all the different kinds of baits that a pro would want to use in a, in a tournament. And uh, that's what they pulled together in that, uh, sorry, this one, the red uh, Pro Series. And I actually got a uh, square bill crankbait, uh, something that dives four to six feet and I got uh, this in the, their money gill color. So I have the Pro Series, which is, like I said, uh, uh, all the Pro style baits with just the uh, bait fish EBS sound. And then uh, their tournament series, which are these green ones here. Uh, these are uh, each style of bait emits a sound related to uh, the kind of uh, bait it is. So in other words, the minnow baits emit the EBS minnow the bait fish sound and uh, craw baits would Im Im imitate a craw sound, frog baits would imitate a frog sound. So there's uh, a little more advancement in each individual style bait uh, in the in the, in the uh, green tournament series. And lastly, in the team series, uh, you get uh, four different multi, uh, four different sounds, multi sound capability and one lure. So in other words, you can switch this thing through a series of steps and contacts with the with uh, the two contact points, you can switch this thing from the OG EBS baitfish sound to a cross sound to shad sound to to silent. And uh, while fish are five times more attracted to a um, a lure that makes sound that doesn't, you can also condition your fish. So it was a kind of an advancement and a step forward to be able to shut it off too. So you get um, you know the same bait. Uh, can make no sound too. So a very versatile lure uh, and something good to, to check out. I just wanted to compare and show the, the Livingston lure uh, body style of this jerkbait. Um, this happens to be uh, their Jerkmaster 121 series bait and uh, show the body style is compared to maybe what some would consider the one of the top jerk baits on the market, the the um, Mega Bass Vision One Ten, and you can see 
uh, if I can hold these up right here, that the body styles uh, are very, very similar. Maybe just a hair more upturn in the Livingston lure tail, but you can see that same jerkbait body style uh, to the Mega Bass Vision 110. So those body styles are, are very much the same. Um, I'll be interested to see in a little bit, just a slightly different pitch, obviously in the actual rattle. A little higher in the Vision 110, a little bit different pitch, but you know, with that noise emitting technology in the Livingston lure, it'd be interesting to see the performance difference. Also like to get these in the water and see their attitude in the water and how they set up one of the things about the mega bass one is it's you know so you know it's excellent position in the water and balance uh it'd be interesting to see um with the livingston lure one one thing i noticed right away i'm taking these stock hooks off i have left them on on the mega bass uh, but i definitely would be replacing the stock hooks on the livingston bait but i don't think um, i'd like to get it in a tank in the lake in the water just to see its attitude and its position and its buoyancy set up compared to um, the other but the style body styles are the same um, definitely going to be trying it out and have one tied on um, not only the tournament incentives we have but uh, some of that uh, technology related to attracting uh, attracting fish can't be ignored five times you know i want to see it in action so something to go check out I've got a link in the description below to both the HydroWave technology and uh, the Livingston Lure bait technology, so you can check it out yourself too. Thanks for checking out the video today. Uh, getting to the bottom of the technology of some of these things may or may not help us, and I think uh, I think we're going to find something out about this five times technology this year. The ability to be able to dial back and forth between things should be pretty versatile. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Hey, if you found this video useful or liked it, please like and subscribe. We'll be getting more content out there soon.